Hey everybody, welcome back to Old Paws Diecast Restoration. Today we've got the monthly build for the Diecast Mafia. Make sure you check out everybody else's build and remember they're, all of our builds are invitational. We're starting out with this Corgi DB5 James Bond car. Been sitting on my shelf for a while. Gotta be real careful when you're taking these corgis apart because there are so many little pieces to activate all the moving parts on the inside. This one luckily had no broken dried out plastic. Here's all of our pieces. Getting ready to drop her into our favorite stripper. You all know her as Fifi La Citra. <laughs> If you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button I got more to come chrome up our wheels and on our back tire and wheel rippers that were on the original movie car I uh, took away that ugly red plastic and highlighted them into chrome also. Get all our pieces in some hot soapy water. Clean up James Bond. Here's our windscreen. Had a little crack in the back which I resin later after it dried. Fire wheel to excess paint off of it. Visual paint nice and thin. Get a little texture for the paint to drip in. And it's a pretty nice shine on it. Don't forget to degrease and clean that up when you're done and then afterwards hit it with some warm soapy water and then rinse it real good and let it dry our primer coat on there I like to use the Rust-Oleum Metal Edge Primer. I've gone back to it. I have a lot of good luck with that. Here's our base coat of color. Diamond Dust Silver. Dipped in the 
Pledge revive it. Dab it off. Don't forget to put a little cover over it to keep the dust and dirt blowing on it. From blowing on it, I should say. The only real details inside the interior were the steering was the steering wheel, which I painted black and then chrome the center spoke. That little white piece of plastic on there keeps the lid or the roof from falling all the way in. Originally it was a piece of clear plastic, but they always broke off. Here's all the parts ready for reassembly. Here's what we originally started with, kind of sad looking, goopy red plastic wheel rippers, no bumper tabs on the front. Here's what we ended up with, minus the little man that gets catapulted out, which if anybody has a spare, I'd appreciate it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. For now, and me and the rest of the Diecast Mafia, and remember to check them all out too on their bill. This is Opa saying goodbye.